Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, we're not doing any repairs today. Oh, unfortunately, bit of a sad day. It's the end of the road for my daughter's 118 2 litre M Sport 1 Series. Yep, yeah, it's dead as a dodo, as dead as it gets. That's the end of that then. Yep, yeah, I mean, it was only last weekend when I was servicing it and uh, it's been a great car, hasn't caused any problems at all sort of batteries wear out and light bulbs pop but apart from this uh, long cranking problem that we had last weekend it'd been fine it'd been absolutely perfect fantastic car very safe quite fast very nippy lovely car so yeah uh, yeah last weekend i was working on it and um, weekend before was having long cranking problems and uh, it was taking up to eight cranks to get the thing going it really did not want to go so after doing a bit of investigating and using Carly to get the error codes from it, it looked like the low pressure fuel sensor was the fault causing the long cranking. So yep, I replaced the low pressure fuel sensor, high pressure one, and the spark plugs. I did the spark plugs as just general servicing. Um, and that went fine, stuck it all together and it worked Yeah, fine. It was all back together again and starting first crank, it was perfect again. And I bet you're all sitting there thinking, ah, oh, I bet Tim's done something wrong putting the spark plugs in, left a nut in the bore or something. No, it was a force of nature, I'm afraid. Yep, you can't compress water. What happened was my daughter was whizzing home from work. Um, main road was closed, and so she went down a back lane. And uh, as she whizzed around the corner on one of these very dark back lanes, straight into a huge mass of water. Yep, the road was completely flooded. And apparently what had happened was the road had been closed, but someone had removed the road close sign. How kind of them. Anyway, she hit the water, uh, stopped dead. Car wouldn't even turn over. And so she gave me a call and gave the AA a call and said, I'm stuck. Um, fortunately, a van driver who had just done exactly the same thing was still at the scene and he managed to push my daughter out of the water, which was very kind of him. And he was absolutely soaked to the skin doing it, but at least my daughter was on dry land and could get out of the car if she wanted to. So, yep, the AA was on the way. So I said to my daughter, yep, just tell the AA man, don't try and start the car because there's always a chance that we'll be able to get it going later. It all depends what happens as you hit the water. But at idle, if you hit the water, the water goes up the air intake, hits the air filter, and it can't get through it easily, and it robs the engine of air, and the engine will stop. Now, at that point, um, as long as you don't try to restart it again, I had a small amount of hope. So about an hour later, car and my daughter turned up on the AA lorry, and... Uh, I said to the bloke, yeah, I'll help you push it into the drive and I'll have a go at trying to get it going at the weekend. He said, oh, no, mate, no, it's dead. I said, how do you know it's dead then? He said, well, I tried to start it, didn't I? Oh, for goodness sake. You really don't want to try to start a car that's had water in it because it, it, inevitably it's only firing on one cylinder and you put your foot on the throttle and when it does go, it's got enough energy to absolutely kill it. So I wasn't that happy, to be honest. And uh, he said, no, I'll be able to drive it on. I'll drive it onto your drive, no problem. And so there he was in the car, foot on the throttle, and made a noise like a diesel. I mean, it really sounded awful. You could hear the Conrod hitting the block. And any second now, that Conrod was going to come through it. And then it started producing huge plumes of oil smoke. And it was oil smoke. It wasn't steam. It was blue and it's hung around for ages and he didn't manage to get it on the drive even then it kept on stopping you know hopeless absolutely hopeless these blokes shouldn't try to start a car that's been in water for goodness sake so yeah that's it i mean the engine's dead and uh what are the possibilities of replacing the engine well it's a 2008 two liter m sport and the sort of going rate is somewhere between three and five thousand pounds. Well, a second hand engine I wouldn't buy for, to start with because you never know what provenance the engine's got and it might be just hanging on by the end of its fingernails. So it'd have to be a new short block 
and now we're talking two and a half, three thousand pounds. And then I don't have the equipment here to lift the engine and gearbox out, so I'd have to get Lee Shannon to do it. Then you've got to pay Lee Shannon, and then we've we've reached the five thousand pound mark, I'm afraid. So financially, it just isn't work, worth it. Fortunately, it's an insurance claim, um, so she will get the value of the car. So we've just bought another car, obviously, because this one's dead. But would you like to see what it looks like when I try to sat, start it and what it sounds like? Yeah, we'll go and do that. We might as well. It's going to the scrapyard. Right. <laughs> Probably only got one chance of doing this. So key in. Foot on the brake. Foot flat down on the accelerator. See what happens. We're going, we're going. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I need a bit of smoke. I'll try again. Full throttle. Yeah, that's dead as I get. Goodbye, car.